Welcome to an overview of Priority Matrix for iPad. When you first open Priority Matrix, you'll be shown a brief intro, and you can swipe to the end, create account, or log in from an existing account. Since I'm already a Priority Matrix user, I'm going to select the option to the left and sign in. These are my existing projects in the Projects column, and Priority Matrix has automatically added a new project for me. To edit this project, select the fourth icon from the left. Here you can change the project name, quadrant name, and quadrant colors. Click Done to add the project. Now you can begin adding items or tasks. When you first start, it can be overwhelming to add so many items at once while deciding their importance and criticality. To simplify, you may want to add all your items to the uncategorized quadrant and then drag and drop to the appropriate quadrants. To add an item, click in the box. Here you can add item names, icons, progress, the amount of effort needed, notes, and dates. You can also add this item to your Reminders app by clicking on the calendar icon, or email it to yourself and others by clicking the email icon. I'm going to add a few more items and then drag and drop these items into their correct quadrants. If you want to delete an item, simply hold down and drag the trash icon on the lower right hand corner. To mark an item complete, drag to the check mark. For multiples of the same item, drag to the plus sign. Change what and how you view your items using the second and third buttons from the left. You can also tap the font icon to size up for easy reading. To quickly add items on the go from your phone or your computer, click the inbox icon on the lower left hand side. Select the email and send. Your subject line will become the item name and your body will become the notes. Save the email address to add quick notes from any email client. Pull down in the box to refresh and then select the item and double tap in the desired quadrant to drop the item. To add a new project, click the plus in the projects column and select the desired template. If you have a custom template in mind, you can always change your quadrant name under Edit Projects. To switch quickly between projects, simply swipe left or right or select from the Projects column. To see more tips on working with Party Matrix, select the light bulb to learn more. Thanks, and we hope you enjoy exploring Party Matrix.